you know, I knew I had to, I knew I wanted to make the tour team and eventually, it, eventually the doping was, uh, was, uh, introduced to me. Yeah. So in, in that period before doping's introduced to you, do you have like almost a ethical dilemma in the period after you become aware of doping, but before you take, before you cross the line and take testosterone for the first time, do you have this period where you're internally debating if this is a good idea or a bad idea, weighing up the pros and cons? Or how does that kind of... I wasn't debating it. I didn't debate it. And I didn't debate it at all until like it was presented to me, in, you know, in my hotel room. I think it was after the, yeah, the, it was after a stage race in, in Spain in the springtime. Yeah. Who, who and that's when I, a doctor came into my room and it talked to me about, you know, what it was like to be like professional, you know, and, and that I could take care of my body better than I was, and, you know, taking this little red testosterone pill. And that's kind of how it started, you know? Uh, and yeah, you're not, it's, he said, you know, he said it wasn't doping. It's, it's for your health. That's what I remember him saying. And then I remember taking it and just, you know, just kind of wanted to not to rock the boat. Yeah. You take it and then, you know, you think about the consequences later, I guess. Was this a team doctor? Yeah, and then slowly, it, slowly it grew, you know, the, the doping, it slowly grew, yeah. You know, my first year, 1997, yeah, I doped, you know, very, very little, but I, that's when I started doping. And, and then you grew, you got, you got more comfortable with it, yeah. Then all of a sudden, I, then, you know, fast forward one year, we're in the middle of the Tour de France and, and that whole Festina affair blew up and, and that's when things got, because before 1997, it was relatively open. Like teams were bringing it to the races, handing out deriders to take back home after, you know, to, to use for training. You know, by then 98 happened, the Festina affair, everything went really like underground and everything was extremely dangerous after that. I don't think anyone knew how, just, um, yeah, how dangerous what we were doing was, you know what the consequences were. Yeah. And that's when it became very real. You know, one minute, one minute you're, you're one minute you're racing with, with somebody on Festina one day, the next, next, you know, that night you're watching him on TV in the, in handcuffs. That's crazy. In a French police station. So it was pretty, yeah, it was pretty eye opening. And that's when, you know, everything definitely went underground for sure. Well, look back at that doctor, Tyler, and the first time you doped. Do you feel like that doctor, like there was a ethical breach, like he should have had your back more? Do you feel like, you know, do you have any hostility towards that situation that you were put in by him? I know you're an adult, but you're still in a highly pressurized situation as a young adult. He was just doing his job. That was part of being a doctor back then on a cycling team. And if he didn't do his job, somebody else would have. For sure. So, you know, I, I've definitely forgiven him. I made, I made that choice. I was an adult at the time. I was a young adult at that time, but I, you know, I knew the difference between right and wrong. I don't, you know, n yeah. He's been forgiven by me for a long time, for a long time. Yeah. yeah that was my own. I knew, I knew the difference between right and wrong. As soon as I took that first red testosterone pill, I, Bother me you know, to have committee meetings at night, come committee meetings at night, you know, stare at the ceiling, usually between like two and three in the morning. And, you know, you think about the consequences, you think about, you know, it's a huge secret. You know, a lot of us were doing it and it was like, how's this secret not going to come out? I was like petri petrified of it. And, and sure enough, it happened, it all happened, you know, 